Hey everybody, it's Dana Alexia. Welcome back to my channel. And this video is just going to be showing you guys how to achieve a natural glowing makeup look using the strobing technique. And strobing is pretty much just the same thing as highlighting. So we're going to be using highlighting products and focusing on that using highlighting techniques. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. So starting off, I'm using my MAC strobe cream and it's pretty much just the highlighting cream and I'm using it as my base so that I can already start off with having glowing skin. And I make sure to put a little extra on my cheekbones because that's the main area that we highlight. I'm also going to mix the strobe cream with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Amber. I love this foundation because it's very light and dewy. So it's not going to be too cakey, which is going to be perfect for this look because we want it to look like we have that natural glow. To smooth everything into my skin, I'm going to use a dry beauty blender. And I've recently been just starting to do this instead of using a brush because it looks so much more natural and blended in when I use it. To color correct any dark spots and discoloration, I'm using my LA Girl Concealer in Toffee. I need to get the orange color corrector, but it's been sold out for like ever now. So I just have to settle with this for now. So to highlight, I'm using my regular highlighting color, which is Pure Beige in LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm going to highlight everywhere that you mainly highlight. And I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. You definitely do not need to contour for this look, but I really just needed to contour. So I'm using Beautiful Bronze. It's nothing too harsh. And I, as you can see, I did it very lightly. I, I usually use more, but I was very light-handed with this product. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my damp Beauty Blender. I'm then going to set my highlighted areas with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm not using a lot, just a little bit because I don't want it to get too matte and too dry and also too ashy because remember we want a natural glowing look. Moving on to the eyes, nothing dramatic, just using fudge from the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler palette just to add a little definition to my crease. And I'm not using a lot, just a little bit and then I'm going to take some concealer to um, clean up my eyelid and then I'm going to apply my MAC Melon Pigment. And this is going to be the main highlighter that I'm working with for the entire look. So taking the Melon Pigment from MAC, I'm going to pack it onto my eyelids. And then after that, I'm going to add some into my brow bone. I'm also going to be using white eyeliner. I chose white instead of black because it brightens up your eyes a lot more. I am then going to apply some mascara and this is the Rimmel London Volume Accelerator Mascara. Taking that same melon pigment, I'm going to put that in my inner corner and slightly onto my lower lash line. Then just take the same mascara and apply it to my bottom lashes. Then I'm just going to sweep away any excess powder left from the setting powder on my face and then it's time to highlight. So I'm first I'm going to take the Benefit Cosmetics What's Up Highlighter and it's a cream product so you want to use your finger to apply it and I'm just lightly packing it onto my cheekbones. I don't need to use too much because I'm going to be using two other highlighters. I'm also going to use some of it to highlight my nose, so the bridge and the tip of my nose, and then also my forehead and my cupid's bow. The next highlighter that I'm using is from NYC in Coney Island Glow, and I'm going to use my highlighting brush that I always use and apply it to my cheekbones, dust some on my nose as well, and my forehead. The last highlighter that I'm going to use is the MAC Melon Pigment, which I previously used. And I'm just going to pack a little bit on to my cheekbones. As you can see, it's very pigmented. You only need a little bit. And then I'm going to blend it out with the brush. This next step is completely optional, but I'm taking the MAC Strobe Cream and I'm going to put it all over my neck and my collarbone and my chest just to make everything glow. And then I'm going to take the Coney Island Glow Highlighter and my MAC Melon Pigment. I was just super feeling this look, so you know, I had to be glow it all the way up <laughs> moving on to the lips my lips are extremely dry so i'm using my eos lip balm then i'm going to take a regular dark brown lip liner just to outline my lips it will be in the description bar 
Then I'm going to take Yash from MAC. It's a matte lipstick. It's perfect for any natural, everyday look. I always use it. Then I'm going to blend it up with my finger just to blend in any harsh lines you see from the lip liner. Then I'm just going to dab some of the melon pigment into the center of my lips and go over that in my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Sugar Pie. I'm going to touch up my cupid's bow with some more melon pigment and then spray my Smashbox primer water onto my face to set everything. You can leave it like this, but preferably I love my lashes. So I'm adding my lashes from the beauty supply store. The information for these lashes will be in the description bar. And this is the finished look, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you guys have any suggestions of what you want to see, just let me know down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you would love to see more of me. And I'll see you guys in my next video.